Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes uh, when you do sharpening, it can start to get halos and, and all kinds of other problems. Uh, let's have a quick look. If I go up here to, let's use the, the high pass sharpen, and I'll just put the radius up, up, you know, kind of a chunk. And we're going to zoom into up here where there's flower. We'll make it monochrome. And then we will do a blend mode of linear light, which is the fairly standard sort of one you get. And what you're getting here is a fairly sort of heavy effect. There's a bit of haloing beginning to appear. Uh, the uh, high pass is better than the um, unsharp at voiding halos, but it starts to appear. Generally speaking, it's also good to keep things below one pixel. Uh, because above it, it just things just start to go off. So how do you get sort of more sharpening with just that? In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this above there, and you'll see why in a minute. And I've got a radius here of 0 0.9, it's just under 1, so there's no sign of any halo, any fading off of this, or anything at all. So I'm going to go to that, I'm going to hit Control J, which duplicates it. And you've got a little bit of going up here. But what we do is we, we wind this down. In fact, I'm going to go down to a third of it, which is 0 0.3. Let's turn that on and off and see what effect we can have. Off, on. We can go in a bit further, closer, and have a look at this. Look at the effect here of off and on. Just adding that 0 0.3 makes that sharper still. And another thing you can do on top you should add another layer. You've got to be very careful when adding layers because you can get all kinds of problems which start to appear. So you are beginning to get a bit of a halo here around that edge already. Um, but if I turn this down to 0 0.1, which is about as low as you can go, that's better up there. But you can still see here you're getting a bit of the jagged edges into it. So because it's still having an effect, look before and after, even 0 0.1 before and after. So what you get, if we zoom out, is you get a very strongly sharpened picture. You can take these off one at a time. You know, that's 0 0.1, hard to see the difference. 0 0.3, begin to see more, and then the 0 0.9, it goes back to how it was before. But you can see again, if we zoom in, it's fairly soft to start off with. And the 0 0.9 does quite a lot. 0 0.3 adds further and 0 0.1 gets further still. So if you want a strongly sharpened picture and you're okay with some fairly crunchiness within it, but only at a very small scale, which you probably won't see if you got the overall picture. You can see there's quite a difference here. What you can do as well is I first click on the top one and shift click the bottom one, then control G, which is why I put this outside. I can turn this on and off altogether to see what it's like. I can also add further blending modes to this if I want to. So I can just do an experiment. So pass through does nothing is what you get when you start off. I can literally go down here and look at these and see is there anything here which I kind of like. And just go downwards. Don't notice even where you are. This and say is there something here which is kind of interesting. Overlays is he's not you know, kind of a bit dark isn't it? But soft light can be quite a, a nice alternative. So again, if you zoom in, you can see there's nothing much damage going on up here, the halo hardly appearing. You've got a slightly darker here, the darks are a bit darker. Um, but that may be a bit, you know, preferable to the original. So there's the original, and there's a slightly dark and soft light one. So in other words, you can put an extra thing on the top of that. Or maybe, maybe it's going, well, I don't know, whatever you like really. Anyway, so let's leave it on that for now and say back up to full size and overall rule is sharpening. You can do this with, with the unsharp as well. Have a go at it and start with a bigger sharpening cylinder one and then chop it down and down and down. I went a third, a third, a third, so I moved down to 0 0.1. So there we go and hope that was helpful and thank you very much for watching.